Oh, I'm filming already. Hey guys, so first trip of 2023 is in the books. I went to Bucharest in Romania and it was a great time. A lot of snow, very cold, some complications, but overall I had a great time. And particularly in 2023, if you're looking to travel and you're looking for budget destinations to go to, then Bucharest should really be on your list. So in this video, I'm gonna break down how much this three day trip to Bucharest cost me. And I'm also gonna, of course, give you a sneak peek into what I got up to. So. Let's get right into the video. So Romania is a country in Eastern Europe that shares a border with Serbia, Bulgaria, Moldova, Ukraine, and Hungary. Romania joined the EU in 2007 and was expected to join the Schengen area, but it was vetoed by uh, some other member countries. Uh, and so therefore remains outside of the Schengen area for the time being. So it exercises its own border controls. And if you go to Romania, you won't be subject to the Schengen 90 days in 180 day period rules. So Romania has its own currency known as the Leo. I will put the exchange rates at the time of the video on the screen for you now. And keep that in mind because I will talk a little bit more about currency exchange later in the video. So let's get into the cost breakdown now. So I flew from Madrid uh, on Friday night um, and flew back to Madrid on Monday afternoon. So I flew out with Wizz Air and I flew back with Ryanair. Didn't take any check baggage, any priority boarding. I went simply with the, you know, the, the, the small carry-on bag that you're allowed. Uh, pushed it to the limit, of course, but uh, you know, always within the rules. And I managed to get my ticket on the way out there for 44 euros with Wiz and the ticket on the way back with Ryanair was 70 euros. So I spent 114 euros on a return flight from Madrid, which is a four hour flight uh, to Bucharest. Now the hotel, if you've watched some of my other videos, notably the travel vlog that I made when I went to Tirana, uh, you'd seen that I've booked hotels before through services like Amex's booking and I've paid with Amex points. This time I didn't do that. I did just go through booking.com uh, and I found a two-star hotel uh, near the North Station, the North Railway Station. Uh, it was a good hotel, you know, nothing super fancy, but you know, it had everything I needed. Breakfast was included, um, and three nights there worked out at 125 euros, which I think was a you know pretty good deal. That was the hotel. Now let's move on to daily transportation. Now in Bucharest, you've got a metro system, and the metro is incredibly affordable and cheap. Um, I didn't use it enough to be able to make an evaluation as to whether it's, you know, the best form of transport to get around Bucharest. Uh, you can get to most of the main points in the city on the metro, but, you know, maybe to get from one point to another, it might be easier to, you know, take a, uh, a taxi or an Uber, which I'll talk about in just a second. Anyways, when it comes to the pricing, so you can either pay with your contactless card and, you know, one trip costs you three lei, which is about 60 cents, or you can buy, you know, a multi travel card and again you know the trips work out at about the same price so super affordable uh, i took the metro a couple of times so in total i made about four trips and it came to about 12 romanian lay so about two euros 50 cents for those six trips that i made now as i said you've also got the option of taxis of bolts and ubers in the city as well now as i have the benefit of having a friend who lives in bucharest and was kind enough to show me around the city and give me top advice on you know sites and, and what to do and, and stuff like that she told me that uh bolt and uber are much much cheaper than taxis so i made sure that i you know went with uh, bolt or uber when i made one of those journeys and what i was really surprised by was that the prices were actually really really cheap compared to you know what you might see in western europe uh when you're ordering a bolt or an uber for example, the, the journey from the airport to the hotel was about 20, 25 minutes. Um, you know, we're coming from outside of the, the Bucharest area where the airport is. Um, and I still only paid 12 euros for that, that uh, Uber journey to the hotel um, in the next to the North Station. And then, you know, the rest of the trips that I made, you know, never ended up being more than five or six euros. Um, and some of those were like, you know, again, 20 minute rides uh, across the city. So you can see like if there's a group of you um, or even even by yourself, you know, like if you're trying to get somewhere quickly um, or, and easily, then, you know, an Uber or 
um, a bolt won't put you like a lot out of pocket if you really want to take one. And yeah, if you're traveling in a group and you just split the cost between multiple people, then you know it's going to work out even cheaper for you. So I took about six trips, I think it was, and the total was 160 Romanian lei for all of those trips. So it's about 32 euros that I spent. So again, you know, again, the average that I was saying about five or six euros per trip, which, you know, for me, I, I'm pretty happy with that. And then add on the cost of the metro and I spent about, you know, 35 euros in total uh, over three days for transportation in and around Bucharest. Now, as we've started talking about the Romanian lay here, of course, there comes into question, you know, how do I get Romanian lay? How can I get money uh, at the best exchange rate? So I used two solutions for my trip, one of them being Wise and the other being Revolut. Now, both of these are very similar products where you can essentially load multiple currencies onto a debit card. You can exchange money and get very competitive exchange rates with both platforms. And at the right cash machine, I was able to take out Romanian lay uh, from these accounts without any additional charges or commission. So if you are traveling abroad this year and you're looking for a multi-currency card, I'll leave my sign up links to both Wise and Revolut in the video description for you for if you'd like to sign up. All right, so now let's get into some of the fun stuff that there is to see and do in Bucharest. So there you have the Athenium, which is like a concert hall, theater. There's a lot of events that take place there. And when there's not an event going on, you can visit and, you know, sit in the hall and that'll cost you about 10 Romanian lei, so two euros. So you can't take photos inside, but, you know, it's nice to sit and admire kind of all the artwork that is inside there. Another interesting tour that's worth doing is a one hour guided tour of the Palace of Parliament. This is where a lot of political events, a lot of world summits that take place in Romania go. And with a group, you'll get to tour some of the key rooms in the palace. And I found that tour to be good value for money. It was 60 lei for the hour, so it's about 12 euros. And to think, you know, you're in a very important building in, in Romania, even in the present day, um, I think that's good value for money. And when the other place, which I absolutely loved, was Terme. Oh my goodness, this place was something else. So this is like a, a wellness center, let's call it, where you have uh, loads of different activities you can do. There's a big heated indoor pool and also a heated outdoor pool as well, which, you know, in the summer is nice for lounging. And then I went out there in the winter and it kind of gives you like what you would expect in Iceland if you're like in the cold, but in like the blue lagoon or something like that. And as well, you've got a range of saunas, steam rooms, and you've also got water slides and a restaurant and massage room in there. And there are various different passes ranging from three hours up to an entire day pass that you can spend there. So the entry is not too expensive. So I paid for a four and a half hour pass, which cost me 110 lei, which was about 22 euros. But be careful because if you don't bring your own towel, sandals and swimming shorts, then you will have to pay for them when you get there. I had the swimming shorts, but I didn't have the slides and the towel because of, you know, luggage space. Uh, so I had to pay that there. And also if you eat in the restaurant as well, then that gets charged as well. Um, and so if I add on the sandals, the towel and what I ate at the restaurant, I ended up paying 33 euros there. So in total, my experience at Terme was about 55 euros for the four and a half hours I was there. But like I say, this place was totally worth it. Like so, so good. So other stuff to do, you've got an art museum in, in the city as well. You've also got the Art Cool de Triomphe, which you're gonna go up uh, as well. I didn't go up, I just, you know, went to visit it. There's also a lot of parks around the city, which are really nice um, with lakes and everything. Uh, as I say, I went there <laughs> when it was covered in snow, so it was, Cold, but it was you know it was nice to look at it as well and there's also malls and shopping centers not just within the city as well but outside of the city i found to be the best one baniata shopping center so you know you've got loads of shops there not just you know like your everyday shops you've also got a couple of luxury stores in there there's a cinema there's a huge food court there's a big supermarket and there's an arcade as well so again you could spend like a good part of the day there just doing shopping as well and when I was looking at the prices of stuff, because I did buy a few clothes, I uh, will not factor them into the budget here um, because I think it will distort it a little bit. But I did find the prices to be just a little bit below what you might find in, in, um, in you know, in Western European countries, whether it's, you know, for the exchange rate um, of the lei versus the euro or whether it's, you know, just because goods are generally sold a little bit cheaper or because it was in sales or a mixture of both. But yeah, if you're in Bucharest, well worth checking out the shopping centers. There are some really good ones. And um, like I say, the Baniasa shopping city is definitely worth a visit as well. And something else worth noting about the shopping city is that because it's so close to the airport, you have a locker storage for your baggage if you're coming direct. 
from the airport or if you're heading to the airport after uh, and you can leave your stuff there for free and so we look at tourist and sightseeing activities the total comes to about 80 euros but keep in mind again you know there's 55 euros uh, spent at Terme and part of that was because I didn't bring my own stuff and another part of it was because I ate at Terme so you don't have to eat there you can save some money that way and if you bring your own sandals and towel um, and shorts of course or bathing suit then you know you'll save money there too all right now let's talk about the food so a lot of the food is either in the food courts um in the you know the shopping malls that i mentioned or you can go to the old town and there are a lot of restaurants there beware though that in the old town there are a lot of uh kind of touristy restaurants so you might get charged like tourist prices which might be you know 15 to 20 euros per person something you know pretty standard that you might find in let's say southern europe because you know kind of france upwards then you know it starts to cost a little bit more but uh yeah tourist prices we'll say so i had a meal at a touristy place one day but then uh on sunday my friend took me to a traditional romanian tavern and i would say the prices were you know maybe 20 percent cheaper than the touristy restaurant um but you know because there was a lot of stuff and you could eat a lot we kind of decided to get more for our money so we ended up you know paying the same price as the tourist restaurant but got more food for it and fast food for those of you that are interested in it um is actually a lot lot cheaper than in western europe as well you know i checked out a mcdonald's and a mcdonald's meal worked out at about only five euros for a medium meal whereas you know you're paying about seven to eight euros in, in you know like western europe so you know i wouldn't recommend fast food as like your everyday meal there and i would really recommend trying some of the local food but you know fast food if that is what you want does work out uh, quite a bit cheaper than western europe in romania and one final point you know i didn't have cooking facilities in the hotel so i didn't really go to the supermarket maybe to get a couple of snacks but i did have a quick check of the prices and they did seem to be you know a little bit lower again than, than Western Europe the supermarket prices but as I say I can't really comment too much on it um, in this video because I didn't really you know buy too much from the supermarket so the total amount of money I spent on food excluding what I spent in Terme because I included that you know in the previous section of the video came to about 70 euros so that was a couple of fast food meals yes forgive me uh, <laughs> a meal at the you know traditional Romanian place and also a meal at the touristy restaurant place breakfast of course as I say was included in the cost of the hotel so adding everything together the total cost of my three days in Bucharest was about 410 euro and with that said you can easily do it for less as well you know if you're sharing taxis with people uh, if you're staying in an Airbnb and you're cooking for example then again you could save money there and if you bring your own things to Terme you don't need a Terme as well then again you can save money there but like Terme I fully recommend the full experience overall I'd say this trip pretty much cost me what I expected it to cost once I'd paid for the flights in the hotel uh, and you had a little bit more leeway to you know spend a little bit more on you know fun stuff in the city because the flights in the hotel worked out not too bad for the three days and as a reward to those of you that have stayed to this point in the video there was a plot twist before the trip even began actually which means that this trip may actually end up half the price that I've mentioned in this video. Let's find out what happened. Uh, folks, okay. So, first morning in Bucharest. Um, what, a, what a start to this trip. Not in a good sense. I was meant to leave uh, Madrid at 8.15 and get into Romania at 1.10 a.m. local time, which, you know, already is kind of late, but, you know, it's doable, like I can... I can go to sleep at like 2 a.m. and wake up whenever. This flight ended up being four hours delayed. So we left Madrid last night at midnight. And I got into Romania uh, at 10 a.m. now. So yeah, five hours ago. <laughs> so 5 a.m. got into Romania because of this flight delay. Not the best start to this trip, but you know, got to stay positive. So I've got half an hour to get some breakfast before the breakfast stops. Then I'm going to get ready and I'm going to go out uh, and explore Bucharest in the snow. So as you can tell, I wasn't very happy, wasn't very enthusiastic uh, when I made that video. But yeah, essentially my flight was delayed by four hours. 
Not exactly sure what the cause was, I'm thinking it might be related to the weather, but in any case, Wiz Island staff were given us paper to inform us of our rights to compensation. So in my case, I think it will end up being either 260 euros. But if your flight is delayed and you're traveling with an EU airline or within the EU or from the EU to outside, then you may be entitled to compensation of up to 400 euros according to the EU regulation on travelers' compensation rights. So do check that out. And if your flight is delayed, make sure you submit a claim through the airline. There are companies that can do it for you um, and it will you know, take some of the hassle out of it, but they will uh, take a percentage of the money you get back if the claim is successful. So something to keep in mind. So yeah, overall guys, I had a really great time in Romania despite the snow and despite the uh, travel delays. And I would really love to go back and particularly explore, you know, some of the, the mountain regions uh, like Transylvania and, and even go to the coast and visit a city like Constanza, for example. You know, there's a lot in Romania to see and do, not just the capital Bucharest. So yeah, hope to be back one day. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment and let me know, have you been to Romania and what budget travel destinations are on your list for this year. Till next time, I'll see you on the next one and let's get this money.